Alright, alright, welcome to Astralis Mate 1.6. Just going to show you uh, what is possible and what you can do, some under the hood tweaks, etc. I've gone through the software with you guys and some of the other ones you've seen in my videos. Very, very, very cool. I've had a lot of positive feedback on this distro, so hope you guys enjoy it as much as uh, we do and as much time as we did. I hope you guys do enjoy it. So just going to show you how to tweak some things. Obviously, if you go to the appearance, uh, appearance preferences, you go to theme, and you'll see that I, I made a lot of themes for you guys. Um, I'll give you an example. This is one that's in by default as well, so I'll get to it and show you which one exactly it is, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously, uh, the Jess uh, Jelly Bean one, which is definitely on there. You just switch it like that. That's how easy it is to do it. The Jess Blue. Um, I probably put the white one like that, which is pretty nice, pretty nice and clean, and it changes everything, all your icons, etc. But we'll just stick with the Royal Blue one. And leave it at that because that's pretty cool. I'm sticking to that one for now because it looks pretty cool. And if you want to make your own themes, I'll show you how simple it is. You go to pointer, choose the pointer you want. Sometimes you'll need to log in and out. Oh, well, this time not, but sometimes there is time where you need to log in and out. Choose your icon that you like. Uh, let's go for the red ones now. And say you want to leave that red. You go to the window border, you can choose your window borders. You go your colors, choose your colors, and you can choose your controls, what controls you want on that. So, say something like that, a halo, a blues, until you get it right. There you go. You keep it at that. And what you do, once you have it right, uh, put save as, and you just put uh, whatever you want to call it, red themes. And save it. And let's look for it now. Under R. There you go. Red themes. It'll be in there. So, for instance, you could bounce back and forth. I'm going to say this. Two. Let's go to the red theme and leave it at the red theme. Red theme. That's how easy. That's one thing I do like about me. It's very, very easy to tweak like that. So, and it makes it simple for people. So, I'll just stick to the theme that I was using, which was pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the next thing that I wanted to show you guys. I have a lot of conkeys on this uh, distro that you probably guys don't know about. So, um, I need to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, um. Let's just get to it. Go to your home folder. You press Control H here. We do that, and you'll see this conky folder. Okay. Uh, what we need to do is let's look at your conky first. Let's look at your list, and I'll show you how how to kind of figure this out. You'll see Ubuntu. Let's look for the folder that says Ubuntu. It's not very. Late. It's you'll see conky Ubuntu Luna. So that's uh, the one we want to look for. You'll see a Conky RC uh, file right there. This is the ones that you could use. I have three Conkeys in that folder. For instance, um, let's just change that Conky. Let's see what we have in there first of all. Okay, that's the time and weather. That's the Google display. So that's that's where it's at right there. That's your folder. That's the only one you're going to use. I already have it preset. Um, if you go in there, I have instructions how to change uh, your location, change it to Fahrenheit, etc. Et For instance, if you take the dot out there and you just put that file into it and just take the USA out of it, um, I think it's uh, located for Santa Monica or something like that. Santa Monica, California. Um, my next one is let's go to uh, big date and time so if I go here copy it and paste it there 
it's going to give you this and press replace. Now go to your Conkyzilla and press Ubuntu and there you go. You've just changed your Conky that easy. And let's go what we have for top display here. Let's go copy and replace and there we go. We got another display up here, another Conky display. This is how easy I made it for you guys. Everybody tells me how hard Conky is and how to how hard it is to configure it. I configured everything for you guys. You just need to now put these things in place. I'll show you a couple more and we'll call it quits from there. Uh, let's go to clock. Let's see what we have for clock. We have that little clock there. Alright, uh, let's go to clock now. This is the file for clock. There's some that you can't change. Uh, Alright, so we have the clock. Let's go to the hanging clock. Let's go back to the conch yellow and go to clock. And there you go. We could change the wallpaper. Let's change the wallpaper to the well one, which I had one of them. All right. Here's another problem. Let me just show you a quick fix for this problem. Here, it's misplaced right now. Say we want to move uh, the conky. I'll show you how easy it is. Click onto that. Make this bigger for you guys. Um, here's your gaps. This is kind of uh, up and down and sideways etc. So let's you'll see X and Y. So let's see what happens when we go put 70 here and see where the conky goes to and try to figure out what we need to do. And just re-enable clock. Alright, it went to the left. All right. So that's not the one we want to go. So we want to go to this one and probably put it to 70 as well. So let's go to clock. There we go, that's better. So let's go to 50. And let's now enable the clock again. Alright, that's better. Now we set our conky to where exactly where we want to. So that's how easy it is. Um, I'll just show you a couple more um, conkies and stuff like that. So let's get back into it. Obviously, I have the side clocks. So say we don't want that. We don't like that little uh, hanging clock. Go to side clock. Let's paste that in there. Yes, replace it. And let's hit clock and see what happens. There you go. You got your side clocks there. Already customized with fonts and everything. Push of a button. All right. Let's go to one. That's pretty cool. That you probably need to do some tweaking to, but I'll show you how to do it. Um, let's go to this one. This theme. Some some of you guys are probably wondering why. Um, I put a. Let's go to which one it was. I think was it one, two, three. Here we go. There you go. Let's go in the folder for that one, which is uh, Conky one, two, three. Like I said, you cannot, you cannot change all the Conkeys, but most of them you could change. Uh, let's go to the Y, and basically you see the alignment bottom left. You go bottom right, top left. There's a couple of uh, gaps in between those, so just make sure if you guys need any help, send me a, a message and I'll try to help you guys out. So let's just try to bring this up now. And let's go to one, two, three. And that should be right there. Let's have a look. Look at that, perfect. That sits perfect on your display. I pretty much almost set it up to where they need it to be. It depends on the display screen that you have at home. Um, so that's where you're going to have to do some customization. And let me show you a couple of the other ones I, I have on that folder because I, I put some really good. You see the blue display? This one's specifically made for this blue display. So let's just uh, get rid of it.
paste it in there replace it and let's see what happens here now one two oh you see this one's uh, this one's too high up now so let's uh, fix that You see, it is a lot of tweaking with these things, so let's just uh, put 150 here and see what happens. There we go. There you go. There's a conky where it should be at. That's so how you just have to play with the numbers and get it to where it's at. So there's that one. We have that one set where it's supposed to be. And what you do, let me just show you another thing what you need to do. Say when you have them right, copy it, like I didn't have that one right for this computer, and paste it there and replace it to where exactly, and it'll save all your configuration so you won't have to do it again. So let's have a look at another one. We have the green one now. And let's uh, get started with the green one now. And we have a wallpaper for that as well. Uh, let's have a look. Um, one, two, three. That one's already pretty much in its place. And let's just change the wallpaper for that one. This. We got more conkeys over here. And I'll show you what I have available for these conkeys. Let's go to that blue screen. Let's go to the folders that, that I could tweak out for you guys. The clock one, obviously you can. You got three different conkeys there for you. The conky one. Do not touch the conky one because this one's uh, set up with a lot of uh, the other default things. The conky gold. I have. Uh, two conkeys there as well for you. Conky one two you could uh, you can modify this one. Uh, conky blue leave those alone when you don't see many folders in them. Conky cool leave this one alone as well. Conky Debian you could uh, modify this one. This is actually a pretty cool conky which I'll show you which just drop there replace and let's go to Conky Debian now and see what it does. See, very cool that one is. It'll come up with bars and everything like that. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool that one. So just uh, take that into consideration. Um, the equalizer will leave that one alone. The Fedora one. You see, you have a couple uh, different ones, so you could change that one as well. And let's have a look at a uh, launch pad you can't change. Mint, data bar, classic handwriting one, and dot uh, conky, which you could also all obviously change as well. Um, conky Ubuntu, which that's the top one, the one at the very top. Uh, conky this one, I put three conkeys for you, which is the last one. I'll show you this one as well. And let's see what the block block conky is. Is the one I think I did for uh, my Unity Dark theme. So let's just uh, let's set that up for you and see what it looks like. See, I already pre-configured. That's how easy this this is to do for you. If you guys have any questions on how to configure them, how to set them up, just let me know and I'll try to help you guys out on how to set the conkeys. Um, if you want to play it safe, you, what I would probably do 
is so you won't me mess up any of your settings or anything like that. Um, press Control H here. Copy. Copy this whole folder and uh, save it somewhere else that you know where you could put it at and you could mess with that folder and if you have any problems you copy and paste the old folder. That's what probably I, w I would do and you could experiment with all the conkeys and leave them to exactly your liking. So like I said it's very very cool. I try to make it as easy as possible. I know mucking around with conky ain't the easiest things but um, I just gave it, I made it, try to make it a, just a little easier for you guys where you just copy and paste it in one section and just change it. So I hope that helps you guys. So uh, good luck with it and uh, we're all good.